Hey everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at The Northmen, directed by Robert Eggers and starring Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, and Anya Taylor-Joy. Skarsgård plays Almeth, the former prince of a Norse kingdom. When he was a small child, he witnessed his uncle Fjolnir invade the kingdom, taking it over, killing his father, and taking his mother prisoner. He narrowly escaped the invasion with his life, grew up to become a berserker, befriended a witch named Olga, played by Taylor Joy, and eventually he does track down his uncle again, and vows to avenge his father, rescue his mother, and kill the man who destroyed his kingdom. This may very well be the most metal movie I have seen so far this year, with all the Viking mythology, and the animalistic behavior and rituals, and the brutal violence. When Almeth kills someone, he goes all out. That, that guy leaves it all on the field. Much violence, much blood. Though I would not go so far as to say it's gratuitous violence. The violence always has a point. And it's shot very well. It's not loaded with a bunch of quick cuts like you find in a lot of action movies these days. Eggers is very focused and deliberate and wants you to feel every crunching blow. I know very little about Viking culture myself, so I am not the one to ask if any of this is historically accurate at all. I do know they had Viking historians working on the film. Eggers himself has said it was relatively accurate, so I'll take his word for it. If it is accurate, boy, they had some barbaric-ass customs back in the day. Whew. So much animal sacrifice, a bit of human sacrifice, too and many, many decapitated horses. I don't know why that was a thing, but for whatever reason, the gods had a thing for horse heads, I guess. Well, we gotta pray for a good harvest. Bjorn, get my sword and a fresh horse. Oh shit, someone murdered half my guards in the night. Bjorn, another horse. Skarsgård was really good as Almeth. By the time we meet him as an adult, he has clearly been through a lot. I mentioned before the animalistic behavior in this movie, and that's a great way to describe Almeth in battle. He is just barely clinging on to his humanity. And he is obsessed with revenge, which, of course, never ends well, and it makes him a very frustrating character to root for, because he's clearly the hero of the story, but he is so often his own worst enemy. He has so many chances to just walk away and live a happy life, and he just can't do it. He's clearly never going to be satisfied until Fjolnir is dead. And throughout his journey, he meets a few mystical people who give him glimpses into his future, uh, one of whom was played by Bjork, of all people. And of course, in these types of stories, the prophecies have a way of coming true, but not necessarily in the way you would expect. I thought Taylor Joy was very good as Olga. She, of course, does not possess the berserker strength that Elmes has, but she is very intelligent and very crafty, and she will straight up murder you if you cross her. Fjolnir is played by Kles Pang. I hope I'm saying his name right. I'm not too familiar with his work, but I liked him in this. He's very good at playing the kind of villain you love to hate. He is an asshole and seems to have surrounded himself with other assholes. He's basically founded his own clan of Icelandic assholes. That's, that's his deal. Suffice to say, Almuth does not have very many victims for who you feel remorse. Well, maybe one. Won't say who, spoilers, but, you know. And when Almuth and Fjolnir finally do come to blows, holy shit. I mean, they actually fight each other inside a friggin' volcano, and it is just amazing to watch. Overall, I thought this was very well made, some great action sequences, visually it looks outstanding, and I enjoyed it very much. If you're not into brutal violence, it may not be for you, but otherwise, I think it's worth a watch. And that's all I have to say about The Northmen. Till next time, take care.